YouTube and Paulus here, you're watching Guitar Guru channel. Today uh, we're gonna go over three solos, three solo guitar licks in a song called Highway Song by Blackfoot. It's an iconic southern rock tune. Um, it's just E minor pentatonic because the song is in E minor. All right, I'm not gonna go uh, over the entire chord progression, each and every note you play, how to bend string, how to vibrate, you're supposed to know it already if you're attempting to play the song. All right, so I'll just show you in slow motion licks that he's using and specific sound production techniques. Uh, as I mentioned, the main chord is E minor. And all in E minor around 12th fret. He's using different positions, but for the learning's sake, we are gonna use this plain E minor pentatonic in the 12th fret position. All right, key note is on E string, 12th fret. So index pinky, index ring, index ring, index ring, index pinky, index pinky, all right? And to make it sound like Southern Rock, make sure that before you attempt to play solo, you try something like uh, bending string number three, from the 14th fret, whole step up and vibrate, second string and first string. So this kind of technique is gonna help you playing uh, all three first solos in Highway Song by Blackfoot. All right, let's get to it. What's important to know is that it's gonna sound like a mix of European classic rock something like the purple or rainbow mixed with american southern rock more like leonard skinner style so the uh, peculiar technique and sound production here is that you pick string and bend from natural pentatonic up whole step and then you pull off so it's pick bend glide down to natural note and pull off same is done on second string and same is done on first string now let's break first solo into phrases and go phrase by phrase. Phrase number one starts with E minor pentatonic on string number three on G string, bending from A whole step up, as we just talked a second ago. So you pick bend, get down to A natural, G, and then you bend second string on which you will vibrate, all right? So your phrase number one is... Phrase number two. From that B string, second string after you bend to E, you glide down to, from E to D, and then bend third string again. Phrase number three starts on B string 12th fret. So it's again B, D, hammer on. And then you do typical Southern rock, whole step bend on string number three, whole step bend on second string. Only this time you get down, you glide down to natural D. Then, for the first time, you start playing on first string, on E string. 12th fret on E. That's gonna be pick, hammer on, pick. After which, sweep picking. So, muting strings, you glide down to first string on them. It's gonna be a full bend to A and back to G natural. Again, string number one. So in the end, you are doing unison. E, E. And then you kind of glide down to B second string, 12th fret. Again, Southern Rock. B, B, unison, glide down to A, pull off A. 
and palm muting. It's a pentatonic, pentatonic mixed with arpeggio E minor. And you do slight palm muting. G, A, B, second string, third string G, fourth string E. And that would be the end of the first solo. Now let's hear it from beginning to the end so you can practice solo number one. After the first chorus, second guitar solo starts. I'm going to play in the same position, although he moves to the uh, uh, one position down. So basically these notes on string A, B, E can be played on string number four and three. Right? but. Um, for the sake of learning, we'll do it all in the same position. So you can see that same pentatonic, same notes I used again and again. So it starts, the second solo starts with uh, A string 14th fret and then D string 14th fret. So you'll need a small bar with your ring finger. And you slide, you glide towards this 14th fret. That's how you do it. Both notes belong to E minor pentatonic. Let me go slower. What you're doing here is you're playing string number five to four, B, E, D, E, F sharp, G, E, D, E, G, E. I'm doing one pull off from G to F sharp on string number three, 12 fret to 11 is a pull off. Pick, pick, pull off. Then he goes back to the Southern Rock bands. So very typical, again on string number three, 14 fret, whole step up. Once you reach B here, from the 14th fret to kind of 16th, you do down slide. And from that note down. Uh, the notes are B to A, G, E, D, E, A. And then the most interesting part is that he's doing a more complex flame, um, pretty unusual, but something that Leonard Skinner would also play. He's going from the third note in the scale, like G, which is A string 10th fret. Put index in a small bar position, covering string number five and M6, and pick string number five, M12 fret to 10 pull off, After which 12th fret on 4, on D. Next phrase, uh, phrase is D, B, A, G, A, which you can finish with G, E on 12th fret. It's almost um, silent on the recording because the uh, sound engineer is moving a solo guitar down uh, at the time that second verse starts. So when they start singing, uh, the solo um, fades, right? Again, the second solo from beginning to the end, slowly.
solo number three starts on A string, string number five, sliding from 12th fret to 14th fret. But it's just plain pentatonic notes, right? B, D, E. Then you go through chord progression to C major. So it's a C note, F sharp, G, C, then same F sharp, G, D, and F sharp, G, A, E. So the phrase number one in this uh, third solo is longer. Again, slowly so you can practice with me. Bam, uh, slide. Then he goes whole octave up. You will need to use sweep picking again. The way to do sweep picking is arpeggio. Ring is on fourth, 14th fret on D string and index covering top three strings on 12th. And you basically go up the first string, E, F sharp, G. So you will end up bending second string from 15th fret to 17th. Again, whole step bend. Like this. Again, after you bend second string to uh, E note, you slide down 12th fret on B, and you do the Southern Rock again. So one time he would uh, bend and end up with a note B. Other time on A. All right, let's go to the uh, sweep picking portion again. Then you go second string. It's a bend from 15th fret, whole step bend. And the very last one is first string 12th fret, pull off to 10, B string 12th. All right, the whole ending 